Professor Park, you spend a lot of time editing the journal Arbitration International and serving as president of London Court of International Arbitration. At the same time, you teach at Boston University School of Law, write books, and serve as an arbitrator on commercial and investor state tribunals. How do you juggle so many roles? The roles are actually quite complementary. Um, the services arbitrator puts me in touch with people who are leading practitioners and scholars in the field. And these contacts enhance the prospect of getting articles for the journal which represent cutting edge scholarship. Uh, the cases also fertilize my writing and the research for the books and the articles provides a background which is often helpful in exchanges with the lawyers and the experts who appear before me in an arbitral tribunal setting. Uh, finally, the students seem to enjoy a little window into what happens in the real world of cross-border business. Um, obviously, if my subject was Roman law, it might be less important to be linked to current events. But with international business, the students do benefit from having some idea of what's going on out there in the real world. Could you please tell us a little bit about your editorial team? The editors are first rate. They are all scholars and practitioners who know a lot about arbitration and they spend time giving a peer review for each submission. In addition, we often do special issues uh, that are devoted to one topic. Uh, the fancy term is an agora, or sometimes an agora it's called, but this basically just means an issue that's devoted to one subject. For example, a few years ago, two of our editors, Ruth Teitelbaum and Tom Walsh, spent a lot of time creating an excellent compendium of decisions on challenges to arbitrators for alleged bias. We've published this in a format which is a book, and it's also available at Oxford University Press online. And it's become the go-to essential guide for people who are beginning research on arbitrator impartiality and arbitrator independence.